Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Uh, let's watch Marco fish, guys. It's exciting. So we're fishing a sunken submarine from World War II. What it does is it creates a feature on the bottom which attracts the fish. As they near the wreck, 100 feet below, it's a good white fish they're after, preferably cod. When I was a boy, we used to catch lots of cod off the East Coast and Haddock, and they seem to have gone. It's like a mill pond today out here. Just coming over the wreck. Within minutes, Marco has his first strike. How beautifully calm it is, the water. Feels like two portions. It's not a cod, but it's just as good for a fish pie. Nice pollock. It's good fish, isn't it? I reckon that's about four portions, actually. Nice fish, isn't it? Very happy with that, aren't we? Despite not landing any cod, there are plenty more fish in the sea. And before returning to shore, Marco wants to prove just how good a fisherman he is. He wants to land the biggest monster in the sea, the elusive conger eel. Full-size specimens can weigh up to 150 pounds. What? Really? Fish. For an eel, it looks pretty tasty, honestly. Nice bit of fun. Ah! The sadness is that a lot of people who cook at home struggle to cook fish. But what they should realize is a little bit of confidence and a little bit of inspiration. Fish is easier to cook than meat. How do I make a fish pie in 15 minutes, aggravation free? It's very simple. We have the smoked haddock, we have the cod, but you can use pollock, salmon, prawns, scallops, hard boiled eggs, young leeks, cheese, potatoes, cream. Scallops are overrated in my opinion, but that, that's just me. Cream, stock cubes. You can get very good frozen shrimp, shell off, take off their tails, take out the entrails, pull and twist as you can see. I always use scallops in the shell, and you can get these in the in the supermarket as well. Just release the scallop from its muscle. Just pop it out. I don't know why I don't like it. It, it. Well, I do, it's the taste. I, I, it's not a bad taste, it's just... I don't know. I just, I, I'm not oh, a fan of the taste, I guess. So we just blanched them for approximately 30 seconds. See, can you see them applauding me? We've just blanched them to allow us to take the flesh out of the shell. What I do is I press in, and then just pinch in the base of the tail, comes out whole. A fish pie should be on every pub menu in Britain. Family should have a fish pie once a month in Britain. Great way of introducing children to eating fish. Here's our pie dish. We like a big pie. Any white fish will do. And cut them into quite large chunks. Shrimps. I just wouldn't think that a fish would have the structural integrity to be able to be in a pie. I, I feel like this is just from guess. It. Obviously, it works, but that it would just almost be a mush after. Scallops. What do I know? Quite chunky. Smoked haddock. Because it flavors the fish pie. Salmon. Be it. There's no rules. Whatever fish you can get, whatever fish you like, put in your pie. You can see it's stacked with fish. Well, I'd say that's a pie for four, or mum and dad and three kids. So we'll take approximately 400 mils of double cream and a fish cube. I've always used stock cubes as a seasoning, not for making stock with. As you can see, it's just starting to coat the back of a spoon. And then what we do is, is we just pour it over our fish. We take our eggs, young Looks leaves, like a them for pie. about three minutes, and just sprinkle them on. And then to finish off, some cheddar cheese. Again, some people put the cheddar on top of the pie, but I don't see what it does. And the cheddar inside the pie is delicious. Eggs and then and then cheese and the final part. 
mashed potato. Huh? What is going on? And, you know, if you've got a little bit more or a little bit less, who cares? Any excuse to taste things. Now, we put it in the oven for approximately 15 minutes. Very high top shelf. And if it burns, don't blame me. What I love about a fish pie, it's got a bit of everything in it. You've got everything within that one pie which represents every corner of Britain. So there's our fish pie. It's been in the oven for about 15 minutes. This is the moment. I don't know why I I uh I don't know why I expected more of a chicken pot pie type crust to be over it, it rather than a a shepherd's pie type thing. It, 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 you know what I mean? So, so interesting. Now what we're gonna do is just Oh, this is nerve-wracking. And there we are. And then... Nice little shrimp. Mm. Really good. Marco now has his three main course dish. I would absolutely taste it. Um, uh, I'm... Curious to see how mashed potatoes and seafood go together. Anyways, that was really interesting. If any of you guys have had a fish pie before, I'd be interested in if you... It looked amazing, but uh, uh, what you think of it and what you like in it. Am I the only one who thinks scallops are overrated? Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.